Welcome back to the National News of Myanmar International. I'm Martin. Secretary One of the SPDC, General Tiha Churati Ao Mien U, received the visiting delegation led by Transport Minister Mr. Li Sheng Lin of the People's Republic of China at the SPDC's office in Naypyidaw on Tuesday. Also present were several ministers and officials, as well as the Chinese ambassador to Myanmar, Mr. Ye Dabo. The MOU signing ceremony for the China-Myanmar Corridor Development Project, which will connect Shui Li and Chao Piu, was held at the SPDC office in Naypyidaw on Tuesday. In the presence of Secretary 1 of the SPDC, General Ti Ha Chura Ti Ao Mie U, Construction Minister U Kin Mao Min, and Chinese Transport Minister Mr. Li Sheng Lin signed the MOU and exchanged documents. Likewise, the contract for the Yangon Tidan Wharf construction project was signed between Shui Na Wa Company Limited and the China Harbor Engineering Company Limited. For those nationality groups who have recently embraced patriotism for this country, arrangements have been made to transform them into border guard troops to protect and safeguard the noble objectives for the national unity, solidarity and perpetuation of the sovereignty. Through peace and national solidarity, sustainable development programs can be achieved. The national defense has been carried out with the united strength of the Tatmadaw and the border guard troops. On the 18th of November, the border guard troop was formed in Shan State East, and it was attended by Lieutenant General Yemin of the Ministry of Defense, the commander of Triangle Region Command, several senior officials, and the local people. In commemoration of the launching ceremony, a luncheon was held and Lieutenant General Yem Yin honored the attendees with a speech. The National Races Armed Groups feel honored and delighted to shoulder the duties of safeguarding the state by legally holding arms in order that eternal peace can be achieved in the border areas. Moreover, the local national races have welcomed the formation of the border guard troops with open arms. Groups that have been granted to form political parties are submitting their applications for registration to the Union Election Commission. Shan National Democratic Party submitted its registration to the UEC on the 18th of May. Up to date, there are altogether 38 parties that submitted applications for formation and continued existence as a political party. Of the 18 that submitted for registration, the UEC granted five political parties and the remaining parties are still being scrutinized. Data users and producers consult, consulted workshop for 2010 Myanmar, Myanmar Census of Agriculture took place at the Ministry of Agriculture and Irrigation in Naypyidaw on Tuesday. Minister U Te U discussed that Myanmar has conducted the data collection on agricultural census three times in 1952, 1993 and 2003 with the collaboration of FAO and UNDP. The fourth agricultural census will be carried out in 2010. He urged all concerned to take part actively for the development of agricultural sector since it can survey the exact facts and figures of the present, present sown acreage and the production volume. Resident representative of FAO, Ms. Josie D. Perez, also spoke on the occasion and it was followed by a round of discussions. The workshop will strive for the emergence of international standard agricultural policies and plans for the nation in future. Minister for Mines, U O Mien, received Russian Ambassador to Myanmar, Dr. Mikhail Maglaksi, and Director General of Fifth Holding Company Limited, Mr. Oleg A. Skorik, at his office in Naypyidaw on Tuesday. Minister for Telecommunications, Post and Telegraph, U Tain on Monday inspected Yadana 
fiber optical factory in Pian Wu Luin of Mandalay Division. He also visited the Elite Tech Manufacturing Company Limited and Asia Megalink Factory where the, he encouraged the production of mobile phones and accessories within the standard. He also viewed the completed construction of Yedana Bon Operation Office by Fortune International Limited where he discussed for a timely completion of the project with the officials and entrepreneurs. Minister for Information, U Cho San, visited the Sensor Hall of Myanmar Motion Picture Enterprise on the 16th of May, where he inspected the installation of acoustic equipment and Dolby digital sound system, high definition camera, and accessories at the Arikam studio and the completed installation of strong highlight 2A machines. The minister encouraged the movie industrialists and artists to promote the quality production of Myanmar movies with collective efforts. Natural gas use is growing across all economic sectors. Natural gas burns cleaner than oil or coal and this environmental benefit has encouraged its use. Decades ago, natural gas was seen as an unwanted byproduct of oil and may have been wasted, but now its usage is valued. With the aim to meet the increasing domestic demand of fertilizer for agricultural purposes, the Ministry of Energy is implementing number four fertilizer factory, Nyong Daga, in Mobi Township of Yangon. On the 16th of May, Deputy Minister U Tian Te inspected the completed plan and preparation for the test run. He also inspected Yuama Gas Control Station and Arlon Gas Station, which is part of the Natural Gas Pipeline project by Myanmar Oil and Gas Enterprise in order to meet the increasing domestic demand of natural gas in Yangon. ASEAN Legal Trafficking of Wildlife Enforcement Network held its fifth meeting at the Aurium Palace Hotel in Napido on Tuesday. 47 representatives from ASEAN countries and the ASEAN Secretariat attended this meeting and they discussed research findings on wildlife conservation. This year monsoon is late and the day temperature is extremely higher than the previous years. So some areas in Myanmar are encountering the water problem. But the government together with local authorities and well wishes are trying to handle the problem by all possible means. In Mandalay Division, Nyang U, Nato Ji, and Chang Ta Township Development Committees have been distributing sufficient drinking water to the people for their daily use. In Bago Division, also, the Township Development Committees of Jio Bingwa, Tegong, Wo, Tanapin, and Kawa also provided sufficient drinking water to the nearby villages daily. Well, that's the end of the National News of Myanmar International. I'm Martin Siraj. And thank you for watching.